Hi guys, for today's trade of the day, we'll be looking at the dollar cat and as usual, we'll like to start off with the monthly chart. So what I like to do on a monthly is to look for long-term sub support and resistance levels and I do this by looking at graphical areas. First off, we see that price has actually spiked and rejected off at this area in January and once more recently here. So I can put a resistance level here. Right? And I want to try to confirm this with um, any Fibonacci ratios. It could be extensions or retracements. I take a retracement from the swing high here to the swing low here. And we see that price indeed did react off the 78.60 level. So I'm just going to highlight that level. <coughs> okay, and let me call this the long term resistance. And now we want to look for long term support. So, graphically, I can see that this is one place as well where price touched, tapped, and rejected. And one more time in September 2017, price tapped and rejected. Over here. Right, and same thing, we want to confirm this um, by finding Fibonacci ratios to add confluence to this level. I can take a retracement from the swing low here to the spike right up here. And let me open up all the ratios. We see that this spike was actually touched twice, 50%. So we will select this 50% and we leave it there. And we call this our long term support. <coughs> but now that we found our long term support and long term resistance, we move down to the weekly. And let's tidy this up. So you see a price is sort of in a, sort of in a sideways movement. Um, since the start of 2015, it just goes up, down, you know, in a range. This can be considered a range. So same thing, what we want to do on the weekly is also to find our weekly support and resistances. Um, of course, the closest resistance that we have is this long-term resistance. And we can also take it as our weekly resistance. Now let's just try to look for supports. I'll take a retracement from the swing low here all the way to the top and just pull out all the ratios to see which level lines up nicely graphically. So we have the 38.2 which price tested and rejected once here. Price tested again and rejected another time here. So let's take the 38.2 level and let's put in our weekly support. <clears throat> so now that we have our weekly support and weekly resistance, we actually see a price is hovering somewhere in the middle between our weekly support and weekly resistance. This weekly resistance, once again, is also the long-term resistance level, right? And I'm not sure price could easily make a push up. Or price could easily make a push down since it's somewhere in the middle. But for that, let's go down to the lower time frame on the daily. Now with the daily, we just want to focus on these two levels. So let's just remove the long term support level and we tidy this up again. So we're just focusing on these areas. Okay, it looks like price actually made a drop coming to make a pullback and it looks like price may make a push down to the weekly support. 
But what we want to do here really is to find our daily support and resistances. Okay, so um, we see that the real move, the real upswing started from here in the lows in January 2020. So I'm going to take the retracement from this level and I bring it all the way up here. I take out all, bring out all my Fibonacci ratios. <coughs> You see that price actually tested and rejected off the 38.2 right and uh, also the 61 level is quite close to our weekly support as well but for presentation sake we'll look at the 38 level which is this area okay and we can i like to i prefer to take the graphical so i'll put this here and i'll call this the daily support Now, of course the ratio is there and there's a strong spike so i would like to put this as sort of like a bullish zone kind of thing sub bullish support zone right. and what i like to see is actually for price to make a push down towards the daily support and then another push back up towards the weekly resistance this is what it looks like it could be happening um, it could also mean that price could actually just come up and then push back down towards the weekly support But since we are closer to support now, there should be a bounce. How far will price bounce? Let's take a retracement and take from the swing high to where price reached the low And we bring out all the ratios And we see a <coughs> There's a possibility of price bouncing towards the 61, the key Fibonacci ratio level or even the 78.6 which is a graphical level so let me just highlight those two levels you see that there's a graphical there are two graphical levels here one is here and one is here um, but for now i prefer to take the 61 because uh, there's a graphical overlap so let me just put the 61 in and i'll put my weekly resistance i mean my daily resistance Okay, but because we see that price is still holding in the middle of daily resistance and daily support much like our long-term picture let's go down to the forward to look for any trading opportunities likewise we tidy this up On the forwards, what I see is a uh, price sort of making um, lower highs, right? There's a lower high, there's a lower highs, and price is making lower lows. So if we connect this all this up, it looks like we are actually holding right below a descending trend line, right? And price tap once, tap twice, tap the third time before a strong rejection. What I'm thinking is that price could very possibly come back to test this area again before making one more push down so this is what i'll propose in terms of our uh, trade of the day right this is a bearish resistance zone So what I'll do is I'll wait for price to come up towards this area, right? And once price is in this area, I'll actually enter a short to play down towards the daily support. Anywhere in this area, I'll actually take 50% of profits. I'll take partials and then I'll move my stop loss to break even. And then I'll let the remaining position run towards the weekly support. Okay, so this will be our trade of the day for the dollar cap. I will shot in anywhere in this daily resistance at a 1.4345. I'll play down towards the daily support, which is the first take profit at the 139.320 level. And then after that, um, it, when price reaches this level, I'll take partial 50%, move my stop loss to break even, and my weekly, weekly support will be the final take profit. 
my stop loss will be also the daily resistance the 143.45 if price were to break above the stop loss if price were to close above this level what i would see is for price to push up towards the long-term weekly resistance so that will be the alternate case that's all we have for today thank you